The next element on the periodic table that I'd like to review as part of the atomic structure and quantum mechanics review in conjunction with the Meet the Elements Lab is to examine the atomic structure of helium. Helium is atomic number two, and the particular isotope of helium that I would like to look at is helium four. So once again, we base the identity of isotopes based on the mass numbers, so we would refer to this as helium four, which is also known as an alpha particle, which is the same particle that Ernst Rutherford projected towards gold foil in his famous gold foil experiment to determine that the center of an atom is made up primarily of the positive charge of the nucleus. Once again, the two represents the Z value, which also represents the atomic number, which is based on the number of protons, which also equals the number of electrons, which in this case is two. Bear in mind that in a neutral atom, the number of protons and electrons is equal. The four represents what we affectionately refer to as the A value, which is also known as the mass number, which is equal to the sum of the protons plus the number of neutrons. In this case, we've already identified the fact that in this particular isotope of helium, there's two protons. And once again, the difference between the mass number and the number of protons is the number of neutrons, which in this case is two. So two and two are four. <clears throat> helium is a member of rho two of the periodic table, which is also referred to as period two. Interestingly enough, it's a member of group 8A. Most of the elements in group 8A have eight valence electrons. Helium is the only member of that group that has just two valence electrons, and it's also a member of column 18. We say that Helium is a member of the noble gas family. Which are produced by flatulent dukes and earls, by the way. Um, that being said, when we draw the AELD, once again, that's the atomic energy level diagram. I want you to start with the nucleus, which we represent with a box. The top box is the number of protons, the bottom box is the number of neutrons, and this particular isotope has two protons and two neutrons, so thus its mass number is four. And we have to position two electrons because we know there are two electrons in this particular isotope of helium. And thus, we're going to place those electrons on the first energy level. The first energy level we know holds a maximum of two electrons, and we refer to that as the N equals one energy level, which is also known as the K shell. I want you to be able to represent or write the electron dot formula for each of the atoms you work with, which in this case, you write the symbol for helium and the number of valence electrons, which is in this case two. I might say that these two electrons are referred to as valence electrons because those are the electrons in the highest occupied energy level. Those will become increasingly important in our discussions of atomic structure. <clears throat> that being said, I want you once again to write the orbital notation diagram which I think I'm gonna put over here today. We're gonna to write the orbital notation diagram right here. 
And once again, the orbital notation diagram is a way of placing electrons and energy levels and accounting for how many electrons there are in an energy level. So the y-axis represents increasing energy and you need to recognize that the first energy level has an S sublevel called the 1S, which holds two electrons, one going up and one going down now. The electrons are visualized as having opposite spins according to the quantum mechanical view of the atom. And so one arrow going up is viewed as a clockwise spin and one arrow going down is referred to as a counterclockwise spin. And we say that when we place electrons and energy levels, we're following the off -baw principle. The off -baw principle means to build up. It's a German word, which means to build up. And that being said, we can now say that the first energy level has a maximum of two electrons, so it's completely filled with its maximum allotment of electrons. So we visualize this in such a way by saying that there are two valence electrons in an S sublevel on the first energy level. If you had to write the address for those electrons, the address is referred to as electron configuration. And the electron configuration would simply be 1s2. We don't say 1s squared. This is not mathematics or algebra 2. We refer to the configuration as 1s2. The last diagram that I want you to write is the Cartesian coordinate system. Diagram that I like my students to familiar self, familiarize themselves with. So the Cartesian coordinate system which will consist of a y-axis and an x-axis. And the vertex of the Cartesian coordinate system is viewed as a nucleus, which is surrounded by two electrons orbiting on a discrete energy level on the first energy level. So that's our Cartesian coordinate system view of helium. So therefore, that completes our diagramming of helium for the Meet the Elements lab, and the next element that we'll look at is going to be lithium.